Today I got a total of three boxes to open up on this YouTube video. I have one that is actually from Shumi, and I think this is one of their $25 mystery boxes. I think. They've been doing some that are like $25 mystery boxes. Some are just their normal like $15 shipped mystery boxes. So I'm not sure, but this I'm guessing since the size of this box is bigger, it's a $25 box. But then I have two of these boxes from the company Pop in a Box. Yes, we bought six more of the, of oh, course, I'm going to draw a blank. It's the Agent Venom, correct, I think? Funko Pop, Pop in a Box exclusives. And I have purchased a total so far of nine of those pops. You can only buy three per order, hence why they come in threes. And now the first nine that I purchased, I got out three chases. So this time I say, you know what? Give me two more orders. I ordered one order of three and another order of three. So if you go onto the Pop in a Box website, I'll leave a direct link down below. Uh, the Agent Venom is still for sale. Last time I checked, I think it's $12 a piece. And you can buy as many as you want, but you can only do in orders of three. Three per order. There's no limit on a household, but limit of three per order. So hopefully, whenever you watch this video, it is still up for sale, but no guarantees. So I've got six more here, and hopefully I get maybe another one of the Agent Venom chases. I think it's called Agent Venom. I think. <laughs> I could be wrong. So yeah, pop in a box. Yeah, direct link down below to pop in a box. Yeah, they. Uh, I've actually bought from them in the past. They're like their subscription boxes where you pay like 10, 15 bucks a month and you get like a Marvel theme like subscription or you can have an anime theme subscription. So they do all kinds of cool stuff. And Funko actually gives them exclusive Funko Pops at times. And I think this one is probably one of the coolest ones they've had so far because it came with a chase. So there's three in here. One, two, three. I can't see them to see which one's the chase, which one's common, but we'll pull them out one at a time and reveal what is in here. So here's the first one. You ready? It's upside down. Okay, it is just the common Agent Venom pop. Cool looking pop though, no matter what. I mean, you have to like, like this one. If you're a fan of Marvel, fan of Venom, box condition, it's good. You know, there's always small little, you know, just shelf wear and just stuff on these boxes. But all in all, I mean, that box is mint. Okay, number two. Okay. Here you go. And a three, two, one. Ah, uh, the back of it has the black Agent Venom. If you get the chase out, the entire thing is white. The Funko Pop is white, on the side is white, the back is white, that's all white. So you can tell, actually on the top, that's white. So you can tell whenever you pull it out, no matter what side that you're looking at, that you've got the chase out. So let's see box condition on the second one. Yeah, it's good. I'd still say it's pretty much mint condition. Here we go, the last one, the number three in box number one. Hopefully I get a chase out. You ready? In three, two, one. Ah, oh, we got another common. This is actually the first time in a box of three that I got out three commons. The part, the first three boxes I bought of three, each box had one chase and two commons. This is the first one that had two commons or three commons in total. So, okay, so that's it for that box. I still have one more box to open up. See if I can get out some chases. Or will it be three more commons again? Will this be the unlucky two boxes from Pop in a Box? Here we go. Box number two. Come on. Yeah, the odds that Pop in a Box actually puts two chases in one of these boxes is extremely rare because the odds for a chase is one in every six. So if you bought three, they packed these themselves. The odds of them putting in two in one box is pretty much not going to happen. You'll be lucky if one out of your three are a chase. Here we go. Box number two. This next actually has some uh, bubbles in it. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe they're trying to protect the chase. So the bubbles were kind of 
on the back of this one right here. I'll pull some out first. Maybe they're trying to protect the chase or something. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's a common. Maybe the bubbles were trying to protect the chase, maybe, that was beside the, uh, the, the bubbles and not behind it. So condition, yeah, it's good. Here we go, number two in this box, five in total so far. And three, two, one, oh, another common. Let's see, box condition. Actually a little bit of little corner damage right there on the very top, but not, it's not bad. A little bit of corner damage right there. So this one does have a little, has two corners with a little bit of damage. Will hurt value by just like a couple bucks, but here we go. Pop number six, this is the last pop in both of these boxes. Fingers crossed, this is the chase. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a common. So this time, bought six of them, completely struck out with six common agent venoms. So, but that's the chance that you take whenever you kind of play the uh, Funko Pop chase game that I like to play, buying multiples of the same pop, just trying to see how many you can get out of the chases. It's a gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and this time I lost on both of them. But that's okay because you know what? I right after this video, I'll actually go and see the heavy more on their website and see if it's sold out or not. And if it's not sold out, maybe I'll buy six more of them. Maybe next time I'll buy nine of them. But here we go with the next one. This is from Shumi Toys or from ShumiStore.com. So yeah, like I said earlier, they do sell mystery boxes. Um Sometimes it is just the $15 ship box. Other times it is the $25 mystery box. And then one is $15 ship can include promo codes for a complete set of Funko Pops. Or it can be just like a, if you don't get a free set of Pops with the Pop you buy, you're guaranteed just a common. But you can get kind of like a low-end exclusive. I've seen a few people get those. But this $25 box... You, I think you're guaranteed a $25 pop. I'm pretty sure this is the $25 box. This was shipped way back on November 18, 2019. It weighs two pounds, seven ounces. Wow, two pounds, seven ounces. That's a lot for one. There must be two pops, and this is something, I don't know what this even is, honestly, then. If, if this thing weighs almost two and a half pounds, I don't know what's even in this box. There has to be two pops in here. So... I don't even know what I'm opening up right here. So there are, yeah, there are there are two pops in here. So I don't even know what what mystery box this is now. It's got it's got me thrown for a complete loop. Here's the first one in this box in a Shumi soft protector, and I'll show you first. SSGSS Goku. Uh, Kamihamiyahi or something. I have no clue. Never watched Dragon Ball Z in my life. This is the special edition overseas exclusive sticker. So this was probably exclusive to like GameStop or something. So there's the first one. Actually, this is also metallic too. It looks like this looks metallic. This actually might be more viable than what I think it is. Who knows? But here's the second one. And here is the back side, I think. I'll show you first. One, two, three. Oh, it's looking at me. Uh, Angus Young Common Funko Pop. So yeah, that one is a, is a uh, loss on that one. So it looks like this must have been some kind of a $25 mystery box with probably like one common and one vaulted exclusive or something, I'm guessing. No receipt in here, so yeah, I don't know... <laughs> how much I paid. But let's actually see some value on this box. Let's see what this one actually might be worth. SSGSS Goku Metal. This is actually a Child's Collectibles exclusive. It's booking out at a whole $13. So how could Shumi not get a hold of the actual collectible or Child's Collectibles stickered ones? They have more than what they'll ever be able to sell themselves. So how come... They had to get the overseas one. It's strange. So first one's 13 bucks. The common Angus Young is worth, it's actually worth 10 bucks. It was worth like eight. So these two together are, are worth a whole 
$21. So this shipped back, you know, back in November, so I'm sure back then, this one was probably actually worth probably like $15, $20. Since then, the value of this thing has plummeted since Funko made probably 30,000 of them. So this is probably the $25 Shumi Mystery Box, I guess with two pops and, you know, a month later after they shipped it, you know, it's only worth around $21. So, you know, pops fluctuate in price, especially exclusives. Once they hit the overseas, the prices go, oof, they they drop. So, but anyway, that was that was still fun. The first two boxes, I struck out, no chases. The Shumi Toy Box, lost money, struck out on that one. So, this was just a big strikeout video. So, I'll see you next time, though. We'll try again with some more mystery boxes. I'm out.